One of the animals still active is Big Belly Seahorse, Sea Biscuit. He's currently the only single male in the seahorse herd and is desperate to find love. Sea Biscuit is the smallest and weediest sort of seahorses and he's got to try and um, convince one of the ladies that he's worth taking a chance on. Seahorses are one of only a handful of animals on the planet where it is the male that gives birth. A female seahorse uses up all of her energy to create the eggs, which amount to a third of her body weight, so she then has to pass them on to a male partner to incubate. Every morning, the seahorses um, hold tails and move up and down in the water and bob their heads up and down at the same time. Um, and that's when the male um, accepts the eggs from the female. She passes them into his pouch. The male then carries the eggs in his pouch for around two weeks. Seahorses normally synchronise giving birth, so they all give birth at the same time, so that the babies have the biggest chance of survival and they synchronise this with the lunar cycle. So we normally see seahorse birth or the full moon. There is now only one full moon left in this year's breeding season, in three weeks' time. So that gives Seabiscuit just one week to find a mate. It's Seabiscuit's last chance this season. If he's going to get a girl, he needs to hurry up and get his act together. They normally breed in the winter, but they're from Australasia, so they, they breed in our summer. So it's definitely coming to the end of the summer and he's got limited opportunity to um, get the girl. Some seahorse species are endangered in their native habitat due to marine pollution. So the zoo are keen for sea biscuit to breed. Males can give birth to up to one and a half thousand babies in one go, but we haven't really had a big hatch of babies that have come through to adulthood. So I definitely feel relieved if we manage to get a big batch of seahorses through. Keepers believe that Sea Biscuit's lack of luck with the ladies is due to an area of his body, essential in the mating process, being a bit on the small side. His belly. Seahorses become pregnant by the female passing eggs to the male's pouch. The bigger the belly, the more eggs the male can hold, and the females are looking for that quality. So they fill up their pouch with water, and then they'll parade up and down in front of the females, displaying their big, sexy, fat tummy. It's refreshing to see the males putting in the effort to really court a female and get her attention. Seabiscuit gets a bit left out because he can't really, you know, display in the same way that the other boys can. In an effort to get Seabiscuit in the dating game and give him a bit more of a chance to attract a mate, the keepers have a plan. We'd like Seabiscuit to feed from our hands so that we can fatten him up and get him into breeding condition and make him a bit sexier. Come nightfall, and the aquarium is a hive of activity. It's been almost a week since keepers started giving Sea Biscuit, the seahorse herd's bachelor, more to eat in an effort to help his chances with the ladies. Sea Biscuit is looking a little bit fatter, a little bit stronger, a bit more appealing to the females. His personality hasn't changed, though. He's still a bit clumsy. Um, He's not the most graceful seahorse ever, but he's, he's getting there. Since giving him more food, the keepers have noticed that he's spending increasing time with a female seahorse called Wilma. So Wilma is Sea Biscuit's potential love interest. They're spending a bit more time together. Um, she joins him for the hand feeding sessions. It's a nice way to meet and um, get to know each other a bit more but we're not sure. She might just be interested in the food. There are now just over two weeks left until the final full moon of the breeding season. There's one more down here. Today we're going to try candle testing the seahorses, which is shining a light through their pouch to see whether they're carrying eggs and whether they're pregnant. Pretty empty, I'd say. 
we're looking for a different shade of orange essentially. So if their pouch is full of eggs, it'll be darker orange. Um, and if the light just shines straight through, then it means that there are no eggs there and he's probably not pregnant. Last but not least, keepers check Seabiscuit to see whether or not things between him and Wilma have become more serious. Yeah. What do you think, Becky? I think that looks completely empty as well. Yeah, I, th I think it does. The candle test showed that Seabiscuit probably isn't pregnant. Um, and in fact, none of the males are pregnant. So potentially it's just too early on in this month's cycle to spot the eggs. Um, but at the moment, he's still looking single. With the last full moon in the seahorse summer breeding season drawing closer, keepers are once again checking the male's pouches for any sign of eggs. What do you think, Becky? He's got stuff in him. Yeah. You can see it being light at the very, very front, and there I think it looks like there's a, a line of where it changes. Yeah. One of the males is showing signs of pregnancy, but the identity of this potential father is unexpected. We've just done the second candle test, and Sea Biscuit looks like he might be carrying eggs. Um, his pouch was a, a little bit more orange than the first time we did it, so he's pregnant. With none of the other males showing any signs of pregnancy, Seabiscuit is now the zoo's last hope for babies this year. A big successful birth of, of baby seahorses would mean a lot to the team. It would be amazing if Seabiscuit was the one to give birth because he's had a lot to overcome. He would be helping preserve that species. Seabiscuit is due to give birth, but he appears to be in some difficulty. It's always a really dangerous time for any animal that's giving birth. Seahorses are always balancing on a knife edge between life and death. And Seabiscuit, he's at real risk if the birth doesn't go smoothly. Sea biscuits contractions um, are happening quite frequently at the moment. If they carry on for a lot longer, it's a serious situation. It's important that sea biscuit doesn't get too tired in the process and ends up with babies still left inside the pouch. If there are unborn juveniles inside the pouch, it can lead to infections and is quite a common cause of death in male seahorses. Seabiscuit's contractions intensify and then... He finally releases 114 babies from his pouch. After what has proved to be a testing labour, Seabiscuit seeks the comfort of his partner and mother to the babies, Wilma. But it might have all been in vain. Seahorses are continually fighting against statistics. They are designed in a really rubbish way. Their survival rate of the young can be as low as 0.1% in the wild, so out of 100 babies, we might not even expect one to survive. The keepers will now need to wait for a week before they can be certain Seabiscuit and any of his offspring will survive after the stress of birth. <laughs>